nothing beats a lazy afternoon sitting and watching the clouds roll by. These white fluffy friends are a familiar part of our lives. But they are in fact the least understood aspects of our climate. Soon a new satellite mission will help us unravel these mysteries. Earth is getting hotter. The exact role that clouds and aerosols play in the climate system is a big unknown. So it's difficult to accurately predict what our climate will be like in the future. Clouds play a key role in regulating the temperature of our atmosphere. Firstly, they reflect some of the energy coming from the sun back out to space. But how well they do this depends on the type of cloud, their size and its altitude. Clouds also trap some of the infrared heat that our planet emits. But it's complicated. High, thin clouds tend to have a warming effect because sunlight passes through them and they're good at trapping heat coming from Earth's surface. While low, thick clouds tend to have a cooling effect as they reflect a high proportion of sunlight back into space. Clouds need aerosols to form. These tiny atmospheric particles float in the air. Some are natural, like dust particles from the Sahara or sea salt from the ocean. There are also human-produced aerosols. For example, pollution from power stations and nitrogen oxides from car exhausts. Depending on their composition, aerosols can both reflect and absorb incoming solar radiation and trap outgoing radiation. Increasing the number of aerosols in the atmosphere can influence factors such as how many clouds there are, how large, how high, and how bright they are. So while we know that clouds and aerosols play important roles in both cooling and warming our atmosphere, what we don't know is how this will change over time as Earth's atmosphere gets warmer. This is where EarthCare comes in. EarthCare stands for the Earth Cloud Aerosol and Radiation Explorer. It'll help quantify the role that clouds and aerosols play in heating and cooling Earth's atmosphere. EarthCare will deliver unprecedented data, allowing scientists to study the relationship between clouds, aerosols and radiation. EarthCare will do this with its suite of four instruments. The LiDAR and radar will measure the vertical distribution of clouds and aerosols. The imager will collect cloud and aerosol information across the satellite's ground track. And the broadband radiometer will measure the outgoing reflected solar and emitted thermal energy at the top of the atmosphere. By using all four instruments at the same time, 3D cloud and aerosol scenes can be directly correlated with the measured reflected solar radiation and emitted thermal radiation. EarthCare will orbit Earth at an altitude of around 400 kilometers. This is as low as possible to optimize the use of both LiDAR and radar. It will fly in a polar orbit, crossing the equator in the early afternoon to optimize daylight conditions. This will help unlock the mysteries of clouds, helping us make more accurate atmospheric models and climate forecasts.